Hello and welcome back to my sewing corner. If you're new here, you're very much welcome. Thank you for stopping by. And please don't forget to click on that red subscribe button to join this amazing community as I post videos on sewing tutorials, pattern drafting, you know, DIYs and all those good stuff. So if you're interested in watching those, make sure to subscribe and also turn on the bell. That way you'll be notified every time a new video is up on the channel. And trust me, it is absolutely free, okay? It's at no cost to you. So today, without wasting time, I'm going to be showing us how to make an off-shoulder blouse. And there are two different methods I'm going to be showing us. If you actually enjoy drafting your pattern or your design on your pattern paper first before transferring into your fabric you can make do with this method while the other method is just the one where you just go straight to the point you subtract your off shoulder measurements and then you start drafting actually you can draft both on pattern paper and also you can draft both on your fabric directly but i think this one will help you maximize your fabric if you want to draft directly on your fabric using this method might waste some of your fabric because it's still going to cut out all of this off the shoulder measurement so i will recommend if you're drafting directly on your fabric then you use the method where you're going to subtract your off shoulder measurements okay so maybe i'll start with that one and i'll come back to this one afterwards all right so let's just go straight without wasting time so the measurements you will need to make an off shoulder blouse be displayed on the screen right now So here you can see I have a sketch of what an off-shoulder blouse looks like. Okay, this is what the round shoulder measurement will look like. And I'm going to put a picture on the screen. How you see, I'm going to take the measurement, and it must be firm. So determine the, um, the amount of fabric you're going to fold or pattern paper you're going to fold. You need the widest part of your body measurement. So if it's your bust, if it's your waist, you need that part. So whatever it is, and if it's your blouse hip. So it's possible it's your blouse hip that is the widest part of your measurement. You know you have the blouse hip, you have the waist, and you have the bust as a circumference. Also you have the round circumference. But in this case, you don't need your round circumference because we're going to divide this round circumference that you have taken for the sleeve and also for the bodies itself. So let's say for this round circumference, you I got 30 inches for the round circumference all right you're going to determine how wide you want your off shoulder to be so the width of your off shoulder that is the neckline of your off shoulder the width once you determine that once you determine the width then you subtract it from your overall measurements so let's say the width that we want for this off shoulder is actually eight inches for the front and then eight inches for the back you know it has to be the same thing the neckline let's say the width is eight inches so that means i'll have what Eight here and eight at the back. That is 16 inches in total. So you subtract the 16 inches from the overall 30 inches. So you'll be left with what 14 inches. So this 14 inches you are going to share it for the sleeves. So you have seven inches here and you have seven inches here. The next thing you want to do, you know, already we've determined the the neck width of our off shoulder, and that was what we did here. We already determined the neck width. So from this point here. From this point here to this point here, so it's going to be what eight inches. Let me use my pencil there. You're now going to determine the depth, and this depth is what we know as the off shoulder measurement. So you determine how off you want your show or um, your blouse to be. So, and I recommend using from four to five inches, depending on your body size. So let's make do with four inches, which is like the standard. Mark half inch allowance here to turn your neckline. You know you're going to turn the neckline with a lining or if you want to use a bias tip so so i'm going to place the four inches on that line okay can you see so then i'll start taking my measurements the round hammer is 12 inches divided by two okay then the bust point is eight inches it's usually two inches below the chest line and then the underbust is usually between three to four and so for some people five inches below the bust point so for this is just three inches okay then you take your waist circumference i've not removed my taper as you can see it's still 11. so the waist circumference is also usually between two to three inches below the underbust and then the blouse length so the blouse that i'm working with here is 18 inches and i'm just going to give it one inch ma allowance so right now i'm going to draw horizontal line across those dots that you can see 
here. So I'm going to label the line as starting line. So it's not going to be shoulder line because you don't need your shoulder line, okay? So just our starting line, the half inch. And this is the chest line. This is the bust point. This is the under bust. This is the half length. This is the blouse length. And this is the allowance for hemming, all right? So this is what we have, as you can see. Now, next, you're going to take your neck width. And you know, I already said that my neck width, the, how wide you want your off shoulder neckline to be. I already said I was going to use what, eight inches. So that means, since I'm cutting on fold, I'm going to mark what, four inches. So you mark the four inches, you can add half inch allowance to hit. Because this is actually for a small measurement, I'm using four inches. Five inches is okay, because you don't want it to be too tight on you. Okay, but this is actually a modified measurement. It's a very small measurement. So that's why I'm using four inches. So you can actually use five inches for yourself. Okay, or alternatively, what you can do is to subtract 1.5 inches from your shoulder line. So this is the half inch that I'm going to use to join the sleeve to my bodice. All right. So what I just did here is what's the distance from this point to this point. This is what we have. Next, I'm going to take my bust circumference on my chest line and also my bust point. So my bust circumference here for this project is 30 inches divided by four. A quarter of that is 7.5. So I'm going to mark it 7.5, okay? Then I'm going to take other horizontal measurements. So my under bust, so if you're making if you're making a bust tier, you may need your under bust measurement. And I already have to on how to make a bust tier. But if you're not making a bust tier, just go ahead to your half length and your blouse length. You really don't need your under bust. The half length I'm working, the waist circumference I'm working with here is 24 inches. So a quarter of that is six inches. Alright. Then the blouse hip is 32 inches. And a quarter of that is what eight inches. All right, so now I'm going to connect the lines for us to sit down. The next thing I'm going to do is to connect this place to this my neck width. Connect your chest line to the neck width. So now this is our armhole curve. Now let's just insert the dart to it. All right, so you come to your waist line and you take your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two. So you can decide to add half inch if you are drafting directly on your fabric. So you're going to have was 3.5 inches. You take it upward to the bust point. Because this measurement I'm working with, the nipples and nipple measurement is 6 inches. So you know 6 inches divided by 2 since it's on, it's on fold, that's 3 inches plus half inch. That's 3.5. So I'm going to take that to the last length. But I'll come up by one inch because i don't want the measurements to lie on the blouse length so just mark one inch or two inches depending on your body size or how you want it so i'm just going to mark what's 3.5 inches here as well so i'll connect in the straight line all right so you can see what we have then i'll come to this same waistline and mark what's half inch on both sides of the dart leg so just mark half inch then you connect it this is what's higher for my dust now i'm going to return what i have taken here back to the measurement so i have taken one inch in total okay i've taken one inch in total but remember that when i was marking my bust span i had half inch allowance to this measurement you know i marked was three inches 3.5 inches so this half inch on this side i don't have to return it i'm only going to return the half inch on this side so I'm always going to return what half inch to the measurement. And then you connect it to the top and base of your bodies. Now that you've done that, I'm going to add. So you can decide to add your ease allowance, your sewing allowance as you want it. You can decide to add two inches, three inches as you want it. So I'll just go ahead and add two inches all around to the measurement so half inch for sewing and then 1.5 inches for ease allowance so two inches in total all right so this is what you have for the off shoulder so now you can come to the neckline and determine how you want the neckline of your off shoulder to be you can make it a 
a round neckline or sweet half neckline so i'll just mark half inch all right from this top here let me just mark it like this i'm going to connect this top here to this half inch here now i'm going to shape my armhole all right so this is the new armhole all right so that's it for your front of shoulder so right now i'm going to cut it and show us how to draft the other one so this is what i have as you can see then i'm going to open it up for us to see so you can see what is looking like all right so this is the let me show you so this is the from this point here to this point here is your neck width okay so what you have from here to here okay that is what you have let me show you this way okay so this is what you have from here to here that's your neck width from this point here to this point here so whatever you have here will be for your what your sleeve now for the second method so this is the method one that does not waste fabric now for the second method which actually because this one actually confuses a lot of people so if you know this method confuses you you can actually still go ahead and make this other one i want to show as you can see i have this is just like a basic bodice block i have here a basic bodice pattern okay this is not a block because i already have added um, allowance to it so i have my my basic bodice pattern here and as you can see this is my dad so now to make an off shoulder out of your basic bodies you're going to determine how off you want your off shoulder to be like did for the first one so you come here and you mark what let's say you want it to be what four inches off so you're going to mark the four inches all right mark the four inches here as well so mark the four inches like that if you want you can draw a straight line okay so once you've determined that just draw a straight line across it. So this is going to serve as where your off shoulder, where your blouse will start from. So that means you're cutting off all of this. What you're going to do next is to determine the neck width on this line that you have drawn, these four inches that you have drawn. So you're going to determine the neck width. That is the how wide you want your off shoulder to be from this point to this point. I remember I was said you're using was eight inches. So that means since it's on fold, I'm going to mark what four inches so once you mark four inches like we did for that one also you had half inch to hit all right so just add half inch to it like so i'm going to connect this my half inch here to the actual measurements here okay so connect it to this one here so you are going to neglect this body's ham hole because it cannot fit in for an off shoulder ham hole all right so this is my new ham hole curve for the off shoulder so after marking your neck width just connect from that place to your armhole all right so now to so the neck width the neck line the kind of neckline you want like we did for the front you know we came down by one inch you can do the same thing come down by one inch connect it back to this point here all right depends on the style you want all right then you can give it what half inch for the uh, to turn it in just allowance okay so that may mean you was recovering this one okay so i'm going to cut that also for us to see so you can see that whether you draft it from your from scratch or you draft it with this so that uh, with this first method you're still going to get your off shoulder as you can see so now to make the sleeve of an off shoulder you're going to need the remainder of your measurement, many of your round shoulder measurements. And now, you know, I already said mine, what is left is what's 14 inches. Now, what you're going to do, get your pattern paper or your fabric, okay? Okay, so now you're going to fold your pattern paper or your fabric using the widest part of your sleeve. The bicep should be the widest part of your arm, okay? So you're going to need that to fold to determine what you're going to fold so you had the allowance you had the allowance you want to give to it then after doing that now what you have left here you have what seven inches left here that seven inches complete this round shoulder measurement okay already we've taken our width neck width on the body so we need what this 
other one to complete it. So we need what seven inches to complete it. So because you're going to be cutting on four, so you're going to divide it. Okay, so that means you have what 3.5 inches here. 3.5 inches. Then I'm going to add half inch to join into the bodies. So for the sleeve, you know you have the cap height, you have the bicep, you have your round sleeve. Those are the vertical points you need. So it depends on the length of your sleeve. If you're working on a three-quarter sleeve, you take the round sleeve, the sleeve opening, the round sleeve or the sleeve opening of that length. All right. So let me just mark those points. So this is the cap height. This is the bicep. So the bicep is usually 1.5 inches below the cap height. Okay. So because the cap and um, the bicep is the one that you can easily take you can't really determine the cap height without determining the bicep so what you do in that case is to determine the determine the the bicep and then you subtract 1.5 inches to get your cap height all right so then you take your sleeve length plus the allowance so you can choose to also draw horizontal lines if you want the next thing you're going to do is to take your round armhole your armhole measurements on your cap height so remember the armhole i'm working with for this project is 12 inches so you're going to take it now you know it's on fold you take six inches okay take your round armhole that's six inches so if you want to add any allowance you can add it go ahead and add it two inches let's add two inches allowance to it all right so now next you're going to take your bicep the circumference okay so it's usually like one inch shorter than your armhole or two inches that depends on your body size then we had two inches as well to hit okay then your sleeve opening all right so just take your own measurement and then let's connect this first before we continue okay so now next we are going to connect this shoulder measurement to the armhole point using your so if you want it to be accurate you can decide to bring in your pattern your body's pattern place it on it okay so that you can have an accurate um measurement okay so it all depends on how you want it if you want the cuffs to do the same thing okay so what you're just going to do is to trace it out follow the curve all right so that's what i'm going to cut out okay so you can see let me just cut that out okay, fold in your allowance here So this is what you have for your off shoulder sleeve okay so you're going to cut for the other side and this is how you attach it to your bodies the first thing first is to attach the sleeve if you want to turn it with lining so you make sure you join the armhole together so you join it this way you can see the tip here you're going to so this way you can see that there's a continuation of the shoulder measurement you can see the seven inches that we marked here this one you can see the seven inches here so this is it here if you open it up you know we have half inch here. you're going to use to join it here so you're just going to continue like that and you join the back piece as well so for the back piece place this your front bodies on another pattern paper then had your zip allowance and then extend your darts to the chest line or one inch below the chest line and then that is it for your back piece it's basically the same thing so that's it guys i hope you find it useful and if you do don't forget to click on the like button share with your friends and feel free to ask your, ask your questions in the comment section i'll be there to answer you thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one